Hey guys, Sonic2WB here. Just want to do a little quick uh, demo of the dishwasher software working. Uh, my code, Arduino code. Um, wanted to give a big shout out to the guys over the Arduino channel on Freenode. Uh, really, really, really helpful guys over there. Uh, made this possible. Anyway, um, I'm using the Home Assistant.io um, home uh, automation software. Works great, by the way. Um, a little bit about the project is we had a rat issue happen this summer, and they got in under their cabinets in my kitchen and ended up chewing through the wiring harness in my dishwasher, which ended up shorting out the control module in the dishwasher. Uh, we took we took it to a repair shop. They wanted three hundred bucks to fix it. And I'm like, for 300 bucks, I can just buy a new dishwasher. So this thing sat on my deck for a few months. And out of the blue one day, I was uh, browsing the old internet and come across uh, a post. I would bring it up, but the website apparently is down. Um, of a guy who used an Arduino Uno uh, and basically redid his dishwasher. And uh, it worked, and so, hey, I've got this stuff laying around, uh, why not try it? Well, I've got uh, the modules, that they're called ESP8266, it's a little um, Wi-Fi module slash processor deal that runs the Arduino software. And I thought, well, how cool would that be to have a Wi-Fi dishwasher? So, if you read the blog, which if you're, wa if you're watching this, you've read the blog, um, you know that I have been working on getting it all set up using an eight port uh, eight port relay board that has uh, each relay is, uh, 10 amps at 250 volts AC um, wired up under the dishwasher to each function and then I had to go about uh, writing code well I wanted to be able to control it, control it from the web interface as well as the front panel on the dishwasher and the best thing we've we've, we've been working with uh, the home automation is the MQTT transport protocol. Uh, great protocol, it works great, it's fast. Um, but long story short on that is, as of right now, I can start the dishwasher and do other functions with the dishwasher through the uh, web interface here, as you see on the screen. Um, you can group items, I haven't done it yet for the, dish the dishwasher. Um, but down here is a couple of the functions I wrote real quick for the dishwasher. Um, let me bring up uh, the console here, the serial monitor, so you can see what's going on. Uh, of course, it's blank because it's already running. But uh, if you come in here, if I click dishwasher start cycle, it sends a message over to the dishwasher, the dishwasher control module to start the wash cycle. Uh, so we'll click it here. Oops. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it, it got the start cycle requested. Let me stop the auto scroll there. Uh, it automatically starts in the fill, uh, uh, to fill the water. Uh, I won't go into the details, but there's a timer for that. Uh, I said this is all kind of defaulted right now, uh, or not defaulted, but uh, mocked up. I don't have the dishwasher hooked up. Um, as you can see, is it a fill? Then it switches into the wash mode. Um, if you've been following the blog, you know that the wash mode is run via temperature, not a timer. Uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any practical testing yet with the unit, but um, from the other guy's post, uh, it says it goes up a degree about every minute. Well, uh, national safety standards here for in the U.S. is sanitized is considered 155 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So what I did here to emulate the temperature sensor was I just set a base temperature and add one every 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 count 
every second just to add a degree. Um, if you can see there's buttons changing back here in uh, Home Assistant uh, just showing the different uh, activities that are going on. Um, anyway, it'll wash for until it gets to uh, 121 degrees, which is right here. Um, through some research and from the other guy's blog post, is that the soap, dishwasher soap, works best at water temperatures over 120 degrees. So I just went in, when it gets 121 degrees, it dispenses the little soap door. Um, I've got to do some testing on that, uh, but it's just a little uh, motor actuated door that you apply power to it and it clicks the door open. Um, again, that's one of those things I need to test. Once, once I can get the dishwasher back upright and uh, put back together. Then it continues on washing until it gets to 155 degrees, which happens here. Well, actually, 156. Um, wash the wash completes. The timer the timer resets, and then it drains. Um, okay, I've got some messages in here that need to be took out that. They're not important. Um, it drains again. And then it'll fill the water again. Then go into the rinse cycle. Uh, rinse. Um, I've set it to 150. Uh, ignore this here. This is just for testing. I set it again to 155. Uh, because my wife works in the public sector. And... Uh, we're always she's always coming home sick and stuff so we want to kill as many germs as we can on you know just for health reasons so it'll what it'll do it'll fill the water up again bring it back up to 155 through while it rinses the dishes and then it'll drain and like i said these temperatures here are just static because uh, i don't have a temperature sensor hooked up to it uh, it'll rinse drain and then go into the dry cycle uh, this I've got to do some work on I don't know if it needs to run on a timer or temperature uh, if I run it on temperature uh, it could be pretty warm I don't want to be melting plastic bowls or anything I did that one time in the dishwasher and it let me tell you it's not a good smell um, Goes in the dry cycle. Um, I got it set, just like I said, an arbitrary number in here. And then once the dry completes, I have a cycle set. It's called system idle. That brings everything to uh, the idle state, turns all the power off, and then it basically goes back to sleep until it gets another command. But anyway, I thought it would be cool to show everybody this. Um, if you like the project, hit the like button below. And uh, check out our other stuff. Uh, you know, I've got the uh, home, I got the Arduino OnStar for the truck. It's up there on the blog. If you like it, check it out. It's uh, Sonic. Uh, sorry, ShadowtronicsNC.wordpress.com. Thanks. Have a blessed day.